This is Mary Ann Shearer, and it's the truth about your health in black and white. And here we have it in black and white. Inhaled vaccines offer better protection than nasal sprays, study shows. This was on June the 10th, 2022. Scientists who compared respiratory vaccine delivery systems have confirmed that inhaled aerosol vaccines provide for better protection and stronger immunity than nasal sprays. Inhaled aerosol vaccines um, apparently are now the latest thing. And if we look at the research, this is from Science Daily, which is an organization that collects research about everything to do with health from all over the world and then emails it to me because I've subscribed to their newsletter. And it's not pro or well, certainly not anti-vax or anything else like that. It's pro everything. It just gives you research on everything without any real input from themselves. But if I go to who researched it, go down to the bottom to see the journal reference. It comes from Frontiers in Immunology in 2020. 22, at least 2022. Okay, so let's go there and have a look who Frontiers in Immunology are. So there you have it. It says Frontiers in Immunology, and it's all about vaccines and molecular therapies. I am sure there's big pharma behind this, but let's have a look. Differential biodistribution of adenoviral vectored vaccines following intranasal and endotracheal deliveries leads to different immune outcomes. So we can have a look at this, and this is how wonderful it is, and infectious diseases, you can read the whole thing if you want to. The interesting thing is material and methods. It says female BALB, it's a batch of mice, aged six to eight weeks, was sourced from Charles River Laboratories and housed in the Central Animal Facility in McMaster University. All in vivo work was done in compliance with guidelines from Animal Research and Ethics Boards at McMaster University and under approval. Uh, and under approved animal utilization protocol. Okay, so that's all very well. So let's say, for example, you're vegan and you don't want to use anything. They're going to tell you this is a vegan-friendly vaccine, firstly, because they don't tell you on who they tested it. Invariably, it's mice or rats. And what they found is that, basically, that it's when you put inhale a vaccine it goes straight to your lungs and they're saying there's a far better or it's a quicker reaction which i'm sure it is compared to they're comparing it to nasal sprays going up your nostrils so this is my concern okay aerosol inhaled inhaled where do we inhale air that they can get to you could literally put this vaccine into the air conditioning system of every mall and every store and every movie house and any enclosed building anywhere in the world and just automatically vaccinate people without them even knowing. That's my concern. The next thing I'm concerned about is in stuff like this, they never ever show you anything. They, there's, no, there's no focus at all on any part of trying to help the body work more efficiently. Your immune system is designed to defend you. It, it has an acid pH on the skin, just for starters, to make sure that bacteria don't multiply e easily on your skin, which we strip off with all these soaps that we use to sterilize our skin, but that's beside the point. Then we have little nasal hairs in our noses that catch things that shouldn't be going in our noses. Probably one of the reasons why inhaling it through your mouth is better than inhaling it through your nose. That's just to start off with. And then we've got these incredibly active white blood cells we've got this incredible immune system that does it's like literally 15 or more different levels on which your body is trying to protect and defend you and we're trying to find ways around this so we can stick pharmaceutical drugs straight into your body none of it focuses on how how living healthy actually defends your body and protects it better than any vaccine and we know for a fact if we look at the statistics and you look at real live people living in real live places and not mice and rats when people's immune systems work properly because they're living a healthy lifestyle they may get very mild diseases but their body beats the disease they've got immunity for life and then they work properly my biggest concern in this instance and this is something we need to think about is if they are now capable of providing aerosol vaccines where are they going to use it are you going to spray it around your house and walk through it? Are they going to spray it in every office block, every shopping mall, every movie house that you go into without telling us? And that's what I'm concerned about. And this stuff is in black and white.